welcome back to my channel so you guys remember that micro link video that i did um maybe last week or so and i had told you guys that i wanted to dye my hair jet black because the tracks did not match my actual natural hair right well here i dyed my weave and my real hair jet black i used a clear all box really simple easy and this is where we're at today so today i'm going to be washing my micro links and showing you guys how I style it and get it to look fab all again. So first things first, we obviously have to blow dry this hair. I'm going to be using this shining oil. I'll have it down below. It's from the Taraji P. Henson collection, her collection actually. And then I'm using a Zenman brush. Now these two are going to be your main tool that you're going to have to use. Or you could use a paddle brush if you have that handy. I say the best thing to do is to get some clips like this to keep your hair tucked away and obviously you're gonna want to brush your hair out now the weave is going to take longer to dry it just takes way longer than your real hair so take time on that part if you don't want to add too much heat to your hair then definitely grab the hair like I have it here and only focus on that part as you're going row by row and as you move up so this is where we're at for the first row looks pretty good now I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because most of it is self-explanatory I'm also only putting the hair oil onto my real hair I wouldn't recommend putting this on the weave because it is gonna make the hair just look very greasy and weigh it down and this is actually a really light oil but sometimes weave just does not cooperate with oh you know what let's let's use the correct term <laughs> extensions don't really work well with oils pretty much you'll have to wash your hair quicker and it won't look as fresh so put it really mostly on your real hair and sorry guys for the way that I'm chewing I haven't chewed gum since May of this year because of my Invisaligns so this is my first time <laughs> chewing gum in so long so as you can see i was really going in on that gum here's zoe she's interested in what i'm doing my doggy and here's another trick the slower you go with the blow dryer and the flat iron, the quicker the hair will dry. So instead of doing a million passes, if you just do like four very slow passes without staying in one section for too long, which may cause heat damage, um, it will actually work a little bit better. And it's like doing less work, but with a better result. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off any random, it wasn't like as even, and that's because I used a razor to cut my hair the first time. So now that I have my scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and just perfect it as I'm going along, just so that it's nice and evenly trimmed. And honestly, wash days with micro links are the worst. They, they take the most time because again you have to make sure the weave is dry before you can flat iron it so that's what's really going to take up most of the time i really started this video in the daytime and finished at night because your arms are going to burn okay uh adjusting micro links the fun part not so what you want to do is cut the threads focus on the threads do not cut your real hair cut the threads <laughs> and because i use nylon thread I, it's definitely a difference you can feel it um in comparison to the hair so i'm only going to cut off the threads for on two micro links and then when you originally flattened the micro link it was a rectangle you want to turn it back into a circle with the pliers by squeezing it on the other ends. Once you do that, slide the bead down and then it should look like this. No hair came out with this, but the reason why I wanted to fix this one is because I think I did this one way too loose the first time around. And so it felt like it was like 
hitching onto something slash hanging on my hair and I didn't want to risk losing hair. So the easiest way for me to fix this problem was to just take it out and re put that one bead right there. And obviously I'm not gonna re-sew that whole entire weft. So where you start off, start off where you last where you cut the last piece of thread and not that area three times. And then loop and loop and loop until you get to that last micro link. And then again, knot it three times. Stitch in the same section once you get to the last micro link three times. And then knot it three times and then cut the excess thread. And it felt so much better. That was definitely necessary because I did not want to risk losing hair. Yes, we are finally done with the blow drying. I mean, blow dry your edges if yours are as unruly as mine. If not, skip that step. But the hair just feels so good, puffy. Ah, oh, clean hair just feels amazing. My hair smells amazing. I use Dove to wash my hair, so you already know it. My hair is just smelling so good. Now let's flat iron. So I'm gonna be using a rat tail comb, and I'm gonna be using my EAP uh, heat curling, well, flat iron. <laughs> And I'm just going to do really, really tiny rows. That's how you are able to do only one pass per section. If you do really, really, really thick rows, you'll be doing a million passes on one section, aka even more heat damage. So you can use a comb to chase that section so that it's even straighter. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on the mood that I'm in. And if my arms are burning too much, then no. I'm going to have to just trust the flat iron on its own. And the dye that I used, I use is bluest black. It can be from any brand. I'll use either Clairol because honestly it's the cheapest. Or sometimes I will use um, uh, Cream of Nature. Sometimes I'll use Garnier Fructis. But the bluest black looks so much better than just black black. Like just black dye. I never really go for soft black because it does nothing for my hair. It, it doesn't look as rich and like healthy and shiny. So definitely consider bluest black when you are if you do like your hair to be super black. But at this point, I was super satisfied with how it was coming out. My hair was blending in, it was looking good. So super, super, super in love with the way this looks. So we are getting towards the end. As you can see, if you notice the background, it is now nighttime. <laughs> it is nighttime, okay? This is not something that I wanted to do in one full sitting. I just was getting tired. My arms were burning. I just was like, yeah, I am like so over this. But wash day is just never fun for micro links. I can't stress that enough. I will say for everyone that has asked me questions on Instagram that if you do want to do micro links, I would say at least half four inches of hair because you want it to blend in unless you plan on doing a really short hairstyle. Now for styling. So 
first of all we're done my butt was hurting from sitting on this bench because i've been sitting on it for a long time but i am just so in love with my um wash my silk press that i gave myself it looks good it blends obviously uh there's a little bit of a luster difference because i put oil on my rote hair and not on the wefts now i think in the future i'm gonna try a little bit of a more coarser hair to match my hair texture because i feel like um just because i mean my hair did blend in very well with this especially in the daytime like when the hair is a little bit more natural it does last even longer i usually keep micro links in for no more than about a month just because uh i just don't feel like i need to keep it in longer i'd rather redo it again you can keep it in longer but if your hair grows fast you're just gonna be kind of annoyed with it and have to continuously do maintenance but yeah, I'm done. I love my hair. I think I'm probably going to show you guys a couple of different things, like putting it in a ponytail. Um, I did have to trim some more once it was up. I love that little layered ponytail look. And then I, my hair was just so soft. It smelled so good. I was just honestly highly impressed. Um, you can do half a half down, as I showed you guys before. And my favorite, throwing it to the side and just waking up and going. So definitely love micro links. Highly recommend. I keep micro links in because I want a everyday hairstyle where I can get up and go. Um, I want to wake up and my hair is already done, especially if I'm, you know, you know, sleeping with bae. <laughs> and um, when I'm going to the gym or taking any pole dancing classes, at least I don't have to wear a wig and it feels like two hats that or a hat that I have on my head. So that's why. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see y'all in my next one.